Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where stories and other random things are center stage and imagination is prized above all. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having a fantastic morning and will continue to have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, welcome to today's video and I will be reviewing season one of Comey Can't Communicate. Now, if uh, you have not yet watched the for, uh, I have received, uh, uh, what am I, what am I saying? I have released a video um, I have re released a video, um, about two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago I released a video where I reacted to the first episode of this series. I'll link it below. It very much introduces the plot, but if you're not interested in watching a 46 minute video, I'll tell you all about it. But still, uh, if you want to watch my live reaction of the first, um, episode, and I do mean live because I literally just recorded it in one take, um, no audio, uh, um, because I didn't want to get, uh, you know, copyright striked, but, um, I did react to it. Um, so if you want to see that reaction, it'll be linked in the description. So yeah. Anyway, Comey Can't Communicate has, is scheduled for another season. Um, so I'm pretty excited for it, but so this is season one and it is a slice of life anime. Honestly, I would consider it a slice of life anime. Um, and it is about uh Shoko Komi who uh basically becomes the most popular girl in class because of her beauty and um basically what other students idealize about her but the problem is she has a, she doesn't talk to anyone she has a hard time communicating with people now uh Hito Hito Tarano is a guy who who's very shy and says and he's like you know I want to have a normal high school life and by accident he ends up like you know uh like being in a room with her alone and he ends she ends up you know he ends up having a conversation with her where she explains that she has a hard time communicating with people even though she wants to talk to them it turns out she has um we find out that she has social anxiety um and she basically has a hard time communicating with people and she has the goal of making 100 friends. And he's like, you know, you, now we just need to find you 99 because you already made one friend. And the series basically follows as uh, he helps her kind of communicate with people. And we see her make a different variety of friends. And it's slice of life. It's very interesting. It's lovely. Um, so yeah, it's a great, it's a great thing. I watched it kind of like in two days because I watched like the first episode and reacted and the next day I finished the anime itself it is 12 episodes the first season so i assume the second season will be very similar we have um it seems like to be made for kids it is rated pg even though it takes place in high school and the reason i say this is because we have like a narrator that outright explains some of the things that uh comey is going through and the things that she like that she couldn't do or or things like that and how and we have like a narrator that just explains about you know gives us some things about social anxiety it seems to bring a one to bring awareness to it but to children specifically and i think that's good i think that was good um i i especially really liked it because for me as a blind person i find the narrator to be useful in certain areas especially when it comes to uh certain explanations like you know uh that could come up some visuals, some visual explanations were kind of explained through with the narrator, so I, I uh, really appreciated it. So I am pretty excited to see how this all works out. You know what I mean? Um, it's a, this is a type of series. The format of the series actually reminds me of, even though it's very different in like plot and even genre, it reminds me of the format of Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle um sleepy princess and the demon castle follows we have 12 episodes in the first season and it seems to ha want to have a season two um I, I feel like it'll have a season two um because of what i read and saw so it, it seems like it'll have a season two and basically the format that it follows is there are two to three events that usually happen in one episode usually they're either some most of the time they're unrelated to each other but there are ones that are kind of related to each other so although they're mostly unrelated some of them are 
and uh basically these are like little slices of their lives in the episodes in the 24 in the 22 to 25 minute episodes so it has a similar format where we have like these different events happening in each episode but it's still pretty good i actually really liked the way that all these characters are kind of well realized and i like the way that the main reason that komi became popular is because everybody has an idea of what she is but nobody really knows her you know except for tatano tatano who kind of learns to read her and understand her so mainly she's popular because everybody has an idealized version of her in an interesting way although thankfully it's not as creepy it reminds me of you by caroline kepnes and also the netflix series you because joe goldberg falls in love with beck when he sees her but he falls in love with an idealized version of her he falls in love with the idea that he has of her and that is the same thing that kind of happens with comey they the, the the way the people have fallen for the oh sorry that's my watch okay with have um basically basically everybody thinks that she has a she's a specific way and that's not necessarily true and i like the the different ways that the anime kind of um you know um uh, separated these different point of views and like uh like basically put them kind of together in a way like it it, it um I think the the uh it, it you know it put it puts them in comparison side by side and I I think that was good because we you know we might think it, it basically tells you think makes me think of like we might think we know someone from the outside but we don't we don't know how they feel inside we don't know how we don't know how how they how they react to things we don't fully know them and that's I think something that uh Comey can't communicate does do well besides its story um so i did enjoy it i think it was interesting i like the way that komi kind of gets you know she tries new different things now that she has new friends and including shopping by the way i love komi's mom she is awesome i like when we meet her first time i'm shuko komi uh shoko's mother and i'm forever 17 like i love her she's like the really happy one um it seems like komi and her dad both go through like social anxiety but i can't be sure like they just talk to each other in like a, such a non-verbal way um and it was really interesting i can't seem to i think that's a thing and like while there are people who usually understand komi there are people who kind of miss understand her as well um another thing that i kind of have that i can't it's a bit of a critique on my end and that is that because um comey has a hard time communicating um sometimes apparently in order to train her uh one of the characters uh usually sends her to get things and usually she gets it wrong right and all of this, though, is played to comedic effect, including in other situations. There are things that people misinterpret for, that usually misinterpret, that she does um, in, the, in different situations. And usually it's all played up for comedic effect and everything kind of works out for her. I would have loved to see a scene where things are misinterpreted, but they didn't work out for her by the uh, by the uh, by the right away like they didn't work out for her that she might have had to think of a different way to do that um or or anything like that so i think i think that was that's like my main critique like um there are there are like scenes that feel like because they were misinterpreted could have led to more conversation and they're not um and they don't get and they don't lead to it all the time i feel like they could be you know there should should be a scene where things are not always played up for comedic effect um but they are shown they we see like the negative side like we see her struggle with the anxiety especially of communicating with people but i feel like the events that people misinterpret in general are not always um are, are usually played up for comedic effect and are not given the negative challenge for one reason or another and i think they should be given a spotlight in that end so that's like my main critique um that's like my main critique but everything else is amazing i think i gave it a nine in my anime list i think
So that is my, those are my thoughts. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Comey Can Communicate. I will be back tomorrow with a birthday video. I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm going to tell you guys a story for my birthday video. And I think you guys are going to like it too. So um, yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts. Subscribe if you're interested in more content. I post on Saturdays at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you're uh, notified when I upload videos in case I also upload some bonus ones. Turn, uh, Make sure you turn that on and I will see you um, tomorrow for another video. Until then, consume stories like Comey Can't Communicate. <laughs>